Hey guys, I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the very simple yet effective Google Earth zoom in effect for your videos. Let's hop right on into it. So I have open here Google Earth Pro, and this is right off the bat pretty messy. So let's get rid of some of these layers. I personally like to uncheck everything, but you can come in here and customize as you need. This way I have a blank Earth. Uh, next, I want to find the destination, the place that we want to zoom into. So for me, that's going to be Biosphere 2 in celebration of my recent move to Tucson, Arizona. This place is literally out here in the middle of the desert, uh, just outside of Tucson. So here's Biosphere 2. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, adjust it to the way I like it. And when I'm satisfied, I can add a place marker up here. We don't want to give it a name, but we do want to give it a description and just call it end point. And we don't want that yellow icon, so let's click on this button here and hit no icon. So that goes away. Hit OK and OK. So now we have basically an invisible place marker that's saved at this location. And we'll get rid of that search result, so that's what it's going to look like as we zoom in, the final destination for the zoom in. Next, what I like to do is pretty much zoom straight out all the way up. You can do this or you can you know, come around the side of the globe for a little bit of an extra effect, but I like to come in from top down and that is gonna be my start point. So I'm gonna add another place marker just like we did. No name, give it a description for start point and make sure there's no icon for that as well. Hit OK and OK. And this is optional, but I like to keep things organized and just put them into a folder. Call it Google Earth Zoom in Demo. And just drag the start point in there and the end point in there. So here's just a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. We're at our start point already. Let's double click on the end point and we're gonna zoom right down on in there into the Biosphere 2. So that looks pretty good. If you're not satisfied with the speed, you can come up here to Google Earth Pro, hit Preferences, and under Navigation, we're at a pretty slow speed, 0.2. If you want it to go a little bit faster, change it to like, let's start with 0.5. So we'll go to the start point and test that again, double click on end point, and it's much faster that time. What I personally like to do is to make that value a lower value. I'll keep it at 0.2, so that way, I have more flexibility in my editing software to either, well, you can't really slow it down, but to speed it up if you need to. So um, from here to there, it's gonna be, I don't know, maybe like five, six, seven seconds. Um, and that looks good. And, and repeating this move over and over again allows it to be cached in the memory because if you have a slow computer or if your internet speed's not that great, um, Doing this a couple times will cache that, and that way it's more smooth when you actually go ahead and do the screen recording, which we're almost about to do. A couple more things though, let's clean up this area. Let's get rid of some of these annotations. So we can do that with view. Um, get rid of the status bar, that'll go away. Uh, the, or I'm sorry, the navigation bar as well, which is that up there. Get rid of the scale legend and get rid of the toolbar because we won't need that anymore. Unfortunately, we, well, we can get rid of the sidebar, but we need it here to double click on our endpoint. So keep that around and just make it as small as you can. Now we are ready to get our screen recorder and we're gonna use QuickTime. Unfortunately, I already have a screen recorder going for you guys, so I'm not gonna be able to do this fully, but you get the idea. So open up QuickTime Player if you're on Mac or whatever screen recording software you use. Do new screen recording, and you can either do full screen or just the section that you're interested in. I like to get this whole area down here. Um, some people like to crop off Google Earth, but it's up to you. So we'll do that whole area. And normally you would hit um, record, but I already have a screen recording going, like I said, so I'm not gonna do that. I did one before this video, so you'll see what it looks like. So hit record, I'll get out of this, and once you're recording, you can double click on your endpoint, and you'll be recording the zoom in effect. And once you're done with that, hit stop recording, 
your file will save somewhere on your computer. In my case, it's saved to the desktop as a screen recording. So we'll bring that into our video editing software. For me, it's DaVinci Resolve. I'm just gonna drag that into our timeline. And this is what we got. And you can see the mouse flying by there. Um, you can see the text on the bottom and it's nice and slow all the way down into the Biosphere 2. So that looks like a good stopping point right, right there. So we'll trim the end of this clip. We'll find out where the motion starts right around there. So go back a couple frames, trim the start. And like I said, let's say we want this to be exactly five seconds for some reason. So we can come to the five second mark here and do some type of retime controls and I'll bring that down, make it play back at 189% speed. So um, that looks good. Let's, let's play it back, see what the final product looks like. Zoom on in there, all the way down to Biosphere 2. That's about it, guys. If you have any questions about doing the zoom in effect with Google Earth, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to this channel. It's all about you know starting up a production company for videography, um, learning how to use editing software, you know other stuff like that. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys around.